Hello Comets, it's President Corey, here to give you an update on the college. You know, first I want to acknowledge that these are challenging times for all and to send blessings to those members of the Olivet College family who've been uniquely touched in these difficult times. I'm also pleased to say that your college is doing well. Enrollment is sound, 97% of our students have returned for campus-based learning. They're doing college from college. And that's a strong testament to the relationships that they form here on campus and value so much and the immersive experience uh, that we have in the Olivet College experience that has brought them back to campus. You know, we know that this will eventually end and I am absolutely confident that Olivet College will become stronger through this experience and that our values will endure and gain strength as well. And now you're going to receive some additional updates from other campus leaders, faculty, and staff. Hi, I'm Maria Davis, Provost at Olivet College. Some of you might be wondering what a Provost is. There might not have been one when you were here. But as Provost, I'm the Chief Academic Officer, so anything having to do with students, except athletics, comes under my heading. So classes, student engagement, all those kind of things, student support. Uh, so that's, that's my umbrella as Provost. Yes, this is a very unusual semester, but we've uh, had a great team in place all summer preparing for this fall. Uh, we have all kinds of safety measures in place. You might notice I'm outside, uh, unmasked, because as long as we're more than six feet apart outside, we can uh, be without our mask. But in any of the buildings and in any of the public spaces in the residence halls, students and uh, faculty and staff are all uh, wearing their masks. And uh, we're also um, uh, making sure that there's technology is available in every classroom so that the faculty can uh, live stream their class. Um, so for if there's a student who can't be there because uh, they're not feeling well, we certainly don't want them coming to class uh, if they're not feeling well. But they can still attend class if they feel up to it um, from their residence hall room or from their home if that's, if that's where they are. So we're relying uh, very heavily on technology to make sure that we stay as safe as possible uh, at this time of the pandemic. But uh, what I'm hearing from the students is that they're really appreciating being able to be together in community on campus campus, in their classes, and outside. Well, actually, I'm super proud of, of all of our st uh, faculty and staff here, but the faculty in particular, of course, figuring out how to handle a semester where you're teaching in person and remotely uh, via technology is, is a, a big learning curve for all of us, but they've stepped up. We've, they've learned the technology. We had, uh, I think, close to 30 faculty members completed a, a summer training program uh, that they hadn't done before. Some had already done about teaching online. Um, and uh, they are uh, meeting, uh, the faculty meet every week for a drop-in session with administration and IT so we can get problems solved really quickly uh, uh, before they become bigger challenges. So really, really proud of, of how the faculty has stepped into this space and, and uh, use, we're using the phrase, uh, be patient, be kind, be flexible. And that seems to be driving, driving all of our approaches to, uh, to this semester. Well, it's really important, I think, to our students, as it has been for us, to be together uh, on campus in community. And I, I continue to teach a class. A shout out to all my former biostatistics students who might be uh, seeing this, but I'm teaching biostatistics, and my students tell me that they're so thankful to be able to be in class and be together. But in terms of fun, uh, yes, fun comes under my umbrella, although I'm not directly responsible for it, but uh, the Dean of Student Engagement, Dr. Amy Radford Pop, and her team uh, are making all kinds of uh, both remote activities so they're doing online game fests and as well as in-person activities i know that the students can propose gatherings and they need to be uh, go through a safety training protocol and get their approach approved but we've had uh, gatherings on campus, particularly some of the Greek societies have done a really great job uh, proposing and hosting some things. But, uh, so far outdoors, but uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of fun to be had around here even though we're in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> So things that we're looking forward, I'm looking forward to anyway, uh, well, I'll tell you, my favorite days uh, on campus are the days that I get to teach class. So I, I look forward to, to being there with, with our students. 
I think, um, uh, you know, this is a challenging semester. I'm not eager to have it over because that means time has moved on and I don't get to be with my same students anymore. But I think all of us are looking forward to as much return to normalcy as we can get. And so uh, I'm looking forward to next semester, really, maybe being a little bit um, more able to do some of the things, particularly maybe later in next semester, some of the things that we're used to doing, being together without uh, the face coverings. It's, um, <laughs> it's been kind of fun in my class. Of course, I've met the students for the first time on the first day and I couldn't see their whole face. I could only see half their face. So I went and uh, made copies of all of their um, ID pictures, which some of them were not happy about because they, uh, you know, were taking freshman year or whatever. But uh, I have them on their desks for them so that I can still see their whole face when when they're in class with me. You know, in spite of the pandemic, I'm really proud of Olivet College and the way that all of our students and faculty, staff, and even our alumni, uh, we have many uh, members of the Board of Trustees who are alumni, and they're just so supportive and encouraging. Um, I think more than ever we're feeling the importance of uh, education for individual and social responsibility as we live our lives every day taking care of each other and making sure that we're doing the right things to protect our whole community it's not just about us it's about everybody um, so i'm i'm just so proud of olivet college we we were I think intrinsically more prepared for this than maybe some other organizations just because we, we take very, very um, tr to heart very much this idea of, of social responsibility and taking care of each other. My message to our wonderful alumni is that we miss you too and we're so sad that we can't see you and we're going to make up for it when this whole thing is over and we're going to you know, look forward even more to having you here with us. But please stay connected to us. Um, we love you. We miss you. We're proud of you and all the good that you're doing in the world. So please know that, that you're in our hearts and on our minds always. And we're sorry we can't be together this stay at home coming, but uh, we'll be together again as soon as we can. Hi Comets, my name is Megan Lazat. I'm the Regional Development Director here at Olivet College and I want to wish you guys a happy stay at homecoming. I hope to be on the road and traveling to see you guys again soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, go Comets! Hello, I'm Ross Bolmes, Olivet College Class of 1971 and now a math professor here. I send greetings to all alumni, but in particular to my classmates. 50 years ago we were OC seniors. Now we're senior citizens. Ain't it great? Hello everyone, we'll miss seeing you on campus this year for homecoming, but we look forward to seeing you next year. Have a great virtual homecoming and go Comets. Welcome back. I hope we can do this face to face in the near future, but until then, know we miss you. Hey there, OC alums. Homecoming might look a little bit differently for 2020. We sure do miss you, and we cannot wait to have you back on campus next year. Go Comets! Hi, I'm Judy Fails, and I'm your librarian. And even though we're having to distance and do a lot of things, your library is still open to help students. So we'll miss you this fall, but we'll probably see you in some of the virtual events. And until then, keep reading. So my name is Jason Meadows. I'm an 03 graduate of Olivet College. Currently, I serve as the Associate Dean for Student Engagement. That means I get a chance to work with students, with student clubs or organizations, planning the activities and multicultural programming at Olivet College. So COVID just really just threw a whole new different dimension to Olivet College. But what remains the same is our mission and our commitment to each other, which is a relationship-based education experience. So what does it look like on campus now? One is that it looks very different because there's smaller groups of students, but students are still engaging and still interacting in various ways. If they, you'll still see students in the square. You will still see some students walking down to the Cutler. You'll still see students downtown even. So Olivet College students are in smaller groups, but they're still on campus. So one thing that I'm really proud of is that our Olivet College students are staying consistent to the compact. If you can believe that, right? 
meaning that they are treating each other with respect and they are communicating with integrity and honesty. So that means that they're telling us they are concerned about what's going on. They are concerned about how to keep themselves safe and others. I am proud of them for actually embracing the pledge and taking steps to make sure that their events on campus, they're doing it to reduce the risk. And I'm so proud of them, particularly the Greek life community. Right now, they're doing some really positive things, and I'm so proud to see their leadership in helping us create a campus where we practice responsibility and show that we care about each other. Um, I'm Sydney McIntosh. I'm a senior at Olivet. I'm a journalism and mass communications major, and I'm from Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Everyone's just working really well together to keep campus safe, and it's been a lot of fun still. It, even though it is different, it's not too different, um, just the mask and social distancing, but the school does a really good job at trying to keep um, events active and um, the campus body like active as well. Yeah, um, I think at first it was really hard with the face masks um, during class, like having back-to-back in-person classes was definitely hard, but just knowing that I'm keeping everyone safe around me and myself safe in the campus, it's definitely worth it and it helps that everyone else is also doing it, like professors, it just motivates us to um, keep going with that, even though it is kind of hard wearing the masks all day, but um, we do a really good job at doing it. We miss you. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Sam. I am currently a senior here at Olivet College, and I would say that the semester is going pretty well, um, better than I expected. I would say something fun that I've done or have been doing is going to practice. And I never thought I would say that, but I enjoy going to practice, seeing my teammates, even though it has to be socially distant, and just laughing. I don't know, something I look forward to every week. We miss you. Hi alumni, my name is Audrey and I am a senior here at OC. Um, the semester is going pretty well so far besides the added stress of being a senior and graduating. It does suck wearing masks um, during school and at practice, but I would much rather do that than not be here at all. Um, something fun I've done this semester was the other day I went to Mooville with a couple of my teammates. Um, we got ice cream and saw the animals, so that was a nice break from school. Go Comets! Go Comets! Go Comets! Go Comets! Comet for life. We're one family, so go Comets. One win, as always. And the new phrase this year is, everything counts.